Hello bears and how are you guys? How is the semester starting? Just how are you? Let me know in the comments how you guys are doing. What are some New Year's resolutions? Just let me know. I would love to hear how you guys are starting this 2021 year off. And I want you guys to stay to watch this video because I'm really excited about it. I am actually going to be doing a thrift haul and I am a very avid thrift store shopper and I love just the sustainability aspect of it and just the way you are recycling clothing, staying away from fast fashion as much as possible. So first, I'm gonna just put a disclaimer. This is not a try on video just to keep it a simple little kind of show and tell type video so I will not be trying these pieces on for you guys but I do have some accessories shoes really cute tops including the one I have on so make sure you guys subscribe and then continue watching this top I have on is super cute and super long I have it tied in the front and the sides are just like really flowy and I just have a gray little tank top on underneath and the really cool thing about this is that it can be used from swimsuit cover-up but also as a nice little casual business dress-up shirt I can definitely wear this to student teaching with a tank top underneath and you can wear it in multiple different tied ways It can be off the shoulder kind of like how I have it now or on fully and I honestly love finding pieces like this that just have really cool sheer detail and awesome designs and patterns because it's so unique and you're just never gonna find something else like this and that's why I picked this up and I got this at Red Racks here in Springfield and just to put a disclaimer out there again I will be linking all the local thrift stores or upcycling clothing stores here under the Bears Den YouTube channel as well as some Instagrams of some women I personally know that resell and up thrift clothing that you guys can check out as well. This next piece is very similar to what I have on right now and it is just a, another little throw on longer blouse but you can also wear it as a swimsuit cover up and it has really cute little ties and again it is that same very similar fabric to this same material and this one is just a little bit more non see-through and this is another shirt that I have tied tucked done whatever with and worn to my practicum hours and if you guys don't know what practicums are if you're an education major that is when you're just getting some field work and field experience in a high school middle school or elementary school so I wear that to the pool and tuck it in with something to cover up to what would basically be my job. The next thing I think is really awesome because everybody just needs some shoes. Like you are never gonna pass up shoes. But I actually picked up some dope older Reeboks. So these are really cool because I just, I really like a lot of the different styles Reeboks have. I think they have kind of like a classic Nike Air Force look but without being an Air Force One price. So I really like Reeboks and I think that they are honestly just kind of slept on. So this is just perfect to get with some leggings, a t-shirt on campus. I honestly love them. They came pretty clean and I think these were like $10 that I got back home in another Salvation Army in KC. But I know I see some really good name brand things like this in Springfield as well. The next thing I picked up is a really dope piece that I think is so, so unique. And I really like this piece because my father actually has the same hoodie, but he got it in like the 90s. And that is a really old Pittsburgh Steelers AFC champion sweatshirt or crew neck, whatever you want to call it. And this is from the starter brand that honestly used to do so many really cool MLB, NFL pieces, and just sports wear in general. So this is super dope. And again, I got this at the thrift. These are just really cool examples of some really vintage but good quality things you can find at thrift stores. So definitely look into that in the Springfield area. The next two pieces I have are accessories. So I have been getting a little slightly obsessed with buying purses from thrift stores lately and this first one is honestly the most gorgeous piece i've probably ever bought and from the thrift and it is this beaded kind of silky little string purse it is so easy to wear off the shoulder i kind of just have it in a knot because it's pretty long but the beads almost have like a flower type of pattern to it and stems and on the bottom you have some leaves and i honestly just cannot express enough how much I love this little accessory and I got that from a red rack in Springfield. This next piece, I definitely would call this like a thrift store splurge. I normally would not spend over $20 on something from the thrift store, but 
this is justified so this is a really cute probably made in the 90s i honestly am gonna have to look it up but coach purse and it is one of those really cute dainty coach purses that you just would wear right off the shoulder like this very 2000s vibes and this is definitely a summer purse really cute to wear when you have a tank top on and it has all of the signs to show me that it's is an authentic coach purse so on the inside it has the badge and obviously if um, you guys don't know coach is pretty expensive so having something like this is super dope and I'm so glad I picked that up so that is pretty much all for my little mini haul I've gotten all these items within the past like month but the biggest thing I wanted to do with this video was inspire students current bears or whoever's watching this to just kind of go around Springfield and look for some really good sustainability upcycle clothing stores because fast fashion is honestly pretty devastating to a lot of different communities and forests deforestation and I can make a whole video about it but I just want to encourage you guys to go ahead to your local thrift stores wherever you live right now and go check out and see if you can find some similar pieces to the ones that I just talked about thank you for watching the bears in make sure to subscribe and I will see you guys next time